Yogi Clan, welcome back to Yogi Cycle Service. Today we got something simple for you. But you know what? Maybe some people don't know how to do it, so I figured I'd make a video about it. And this is replacing the Tour Pack Tether. Maybe you're like my customer and he doesn't like the little uh, ribbon style. So he went out and bought the rope style tether. Product number 541711, retractable Tour Pack lid tether. So we're going to go ahead and take this tether off and replace it with a rope one versus a ribbon style. If you are new here to Yogi Cycle Service, I thank you for stopping by and checking out this video. It's a quick little tip on a quick little thing, service related. Maybe yours broke and you need to change it. And that's what we do here at Yogi Cycle Service. We put out videos so to try to empower you so you can make some of these changes yourself and not have to take your bike to the shop all the time. Lord knows I can't take my bike to the shop all the time. So this channel was kind of born out of necessity. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for stopping by and checking out this video. If you are not a subscriber, what are you doing, man? Go around, check out some of my other videos. If you like what you see, give a brother some love. Mash that subscribe button. So let's dig on in. So the first thing I want to do so you want to be really careful when we take this tether off that lid is kind of free floating so we're going to want to be really careful about that now there is a spot there are two phillips head screws holding the bottom on here and then you also have your backrest there are three nuts on three bolts that mount this backrest feels like there are also two phillips heads screws on the back of this but we really can't get to it with that seat back in the way. So let's go ahead and take that off first. This is not a stock Harley tour pack. This is an aftermarket tour pack. So it's a little bit thinner material than the stock ones are. Irregardless, you're going to want to be careful with it and know that once, once you have this unhooked, that lid is free floating. So be super careful with it. Here we go. All right, so I'll take some of the pressure off the lid. Let's go ahead and get a screwdriver. So this tether is actually held on with three screws. One. Two. Okay, all three screws are out on the tether. There we go, it is off. Take the back side of this tether off. Let's hope and pray that these all line up together. Why does my gut tell me that it won't? <laughs> is there hardware? No. No screws. No hardware. All right, let's see if we can find some bolts that'll fit this. Hey, guess what? What do you know? We don't have any. That means we're going to need to run to Lowe's and get some bolts. <laughs> Lovely. Be right back the next day. Lowe's it is. We are back in action. So we have the hook. I think we're going to put this end up top and the fixed end down at the bottom. We got lock nuts. We got bolts and we got watchers. And we've also got a tube of grease so we can grease the neck bearing. So I did drill a pilot hole through this right here because see how it sticks out? The last one they had the part in between here. I don't want to do that. I want to bolt this to here so it stays nice and tight for him. I bought number 10 by 24 thread, half inch on the bolts, and then got some vinyl lock nuts. So we don't have to worry about Loctite or any of that mess. We'll just put a lock nut on there. So we're going to take one of the bolts, we're going to put a washer through it, stick it in the hole, but you know what? A half inch is going to be too short for that. Yogi was smart, y'all, because I didn't think about that felt backing. And I just wanted to make sure we had enough meat. So he also bought a package of three-quarter inch. I wasn't thinking about going through the felt, but now that we're going to go through the felt, we're going to use a three-quarter inch bolt. Washer on through the hole, through the hole in the felt. Put another washer on for good measure. Phillips head on this side. Okay, put another washer on, 
Get a good flat spot. Run the tether up. And grab a wrench. Tighten it down. Cool. That's it. All right, let's go ahead and put his seat back on. Again, just this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt going through the three holes. That nut started. These are also vinyl lock nuts. Great for this application because you know it won't come loose. Just take a socket with a half inch and tighten these down. Don't want to over tighten them because this just is soft plastic, I think ABS plastic top. So you want to be somewhat careful about how hard you tighten that. Because you certainly do not want to crack that ABS plastic, okay? There we go. And there you go, Yogi Clan. All done. Pretty easy fix. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. A caveman could do it. It's so easy, a caveman could do it. <laughs> Seriously, we apologize. We had no idea you guys were still around. Hope you enjoyed it. Quick little tip if you want to change out from your ribbon tether to a rope tether. Or maybe yours breaks. Really not that hard. Just got to be able to take off this C here and get them swapped out. Hope that helps you, Yogi Clan. Thank you for joining. I'll catch you later. Peace.